journey takes me to the Alam Rock Road in Birmingham for Eid, the end of Ramadan, the Muslim month of fasting. But underlying the celebrations of this religious festival is a tense atmosphere. Outsiders feel threatened. For now, when the truck is coming down, all of you, I try to get you. They go to the car, they go on the hog, and they turn the car across the road, block the road. I can't get you. All they do is they start to jump on my car. I start to shake my car up. So I comes out, I pull the car up, I pull the car up, and I comes out the car. Right? They all get around me. So I stand there, because I know I'm not running. Because they all get around me, they don't want to throw me over or whatever. I still stand. Asians, all Asians. Right, it's all Asian. It's not, it's not even the point. Everyone can have a happy Christmas, you understand? But in situations like this, they, they shouldn't need to block up the road. My son's got a chucky to me, and we need to get through the crowds in emergency. He's been coughing for about 45 minutes, and they're not letting them through the crowds. Most of the time, on the weekend, on the Saturday, you can't get nowhere to walk. They party car sidewalk everywhere. It seems like they don't want to fight me. That's why they want to, they want to fight me. I'm nervous. First of all, my director, who is Asian, talks to two whole soul, born and bred Pakistanis, Zahid and Shaja. Tell me about Virtus. For years, it was a no goes off, white people, black people, anyone, man. If you ain't Paki, you ain't coming to Virtus, man. You come fuck with us, you're, gonna, you're dead, man. This is self defense, man, you know what I mean? If we don't do this shit, you know what I mean? People are going to come to our area and they're going to terrorize us, man, you know what I mean? That's why we have to look after our own people, man, you know what I mean? If we don't do it, who's going to do it, man? It's the black ones are going to come stand here. They ain't going to respect our culture, they ain't going to respect our religion, you know what I mean? And what, what about black men in, in Warsaw? They, they're, they're, they're on a the level, man, they're on a the level, you know what I mean? The no, yeah, man. The lockdown, man, trust me. You said yeah. black people, yeah. admitting they've been impressed. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Now, what's that showing for you, man? Yeah. Because even now, black people, they just got them out. If black people are admitting that they've been impressed in this town, that shows you how, how strong the Pakistani crew is, man. We're not saying black people are bad people, they're nice people, you know what I mean? It's just, yes, you've got to have order, man. If you don't have order, you're going to get chaos. I get out of the car to talk to the boys. Where are they? Who am who I'm, who I'm talking to? I'm straight up, man. Dark as hell. Channel 4. All right. All right. Are you interviewing us today or what? Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. the man. That's right, man. Yeah. What, what do you do? Celebrate. What do we do, man? What do you do? What? These boys know a man named Darkus How is coming, but clearly they aren't expecting a black man. I'm asking if he works. I'm not supposed to ask. Him. Get to the point, man. Get to the point, man. <laughs> what kind of questions are you asking us, any? What do we do, man? What's that, man? No, I'm just into introducing myself, my friend. Yeah, what do you do, well, introduce man? Introduce yourself. I am a presenter and a television writer with Channel 4, the News Statesman, the Guardian, the Observer. The Sunday Times. Okay. Yeah, that's right, man. You I'm introduce yourself Canada. before you ask for introductions, man. I'm from here. That's all right. I, you see right, me? Man. I don't like. Yeah, I don't like the conflict. I'm, yeah, I'm but you introduce saying. yourself before you ask for introductions. Thank you for teaching me that. You want to do this interview? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. What's happened, man? No, be straight with us. We'll be straight with you, man. You know what I mean? Is there? We thought uh, we thought yeah. you come here to drop a few lines, man. You know what I mean? That's what. They are taking the piss. But you got a, you got a job to do. Do your job, man. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, you was the big man. Because the big man. Yeah, the big man's coming. Like the big man, don't know. What's happening? You playing games with us, man. Don't play games with us, man. Yep. Any? I'm not doing that. I've had enough. Fucking okay, no, asshole. I'm not prepared to do an interview in the face of such hostility. Um, you do it. 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 I'm not doing it. Because I'm not getting involved in, 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 in shit like that. No, it's smashing up. It's smashing up. I'm not going to fucking mash him up, man. You know what I mean? Mash him all up. So now you got your camera crew. I'll fucking raise up all your cameras, man. You fucking know that, man. They're threatening me. These Pakistani boys are threatening to mash me up. I don't want any trouble, so I leave my Asian director to continue. Zahid and Shaja and their friends talk big but act like little boys under siege. Fuck you pig! They feel they are discriminated against, not only because they're Asian, but also Muslim. 
I can understand why they feel like this. Since 9-11, Muslims have become the most hated group in Britain. But ironically, these boys react to prejudice by adopting the street culture of West Indian youth while asserting their allegiance to Pakistan. 20 years ago, there were no Pakis here, no one is doing nothing. But now, the Pakis have made a stamp, man, trust, you know what I mean? That thing 20 years ahead, boy, fuck knows, man, this is going to be Pakistan. Or oh, England. No fucking shipping over, you know what I mean? Fake passports. Fucking shut up, man, you fucking man. I suspect that in a hostile world, clinging to the idea of Pakistan gives these boys an identity. I would never have imagined that third generation British Muslims would be more influenced by events happening abroad than on their own doorstep. That's why the neighboring is a terrorist, man, you know what I mean? To divide and conquer, man, they're trying to make us fight against each other, man, but that shit ain't happening, man, because the Muslim brothers all over the world are waking up, man. When the shit gets dark, man, you know what I mean? There's only one firm, man, one firm. Nobody gonna fuck with us, man, you know what I mean? Peace. We're not terrorists or nothing, man, you know what I mean? Islam's about peace, man, you get me? Yeah, man, it's all about the 9-11. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yes, that's for fucking that's Bush. Oh, yes. That's for Bush, the motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker Bush. Zaheer has a picture of Osama bin Laden on his phone. Maybe it's a joke, I don't know. Global politics, ancient conflicts between Muslims and Jews in the Middle East are unleashing a torrent of vitriol on British streets. I don't like Jews. If I had a chance here, yeah, I'd do one over and I go, I fuck him up, I break him, man. Jews, my enemies, my enemies. Israel, the motherfuckers. Move, move, move. Yes, yes. Why? Why do we hate Jews? Jews. Yeah. Jews smell. The motherfuckers. That's right, isn't it? Scotters, man. Motherfuckers.